Hey, it's Clayton, and I'm coming to you from Denver, Colorado at the historic Cheeseman Park. And I wanted to flip on my camera today and make another video under this tree because I've been getting a question for a long time now from both men and women, and it's, how do I get back with an ex? How do I fix what went wrong with my lover and start over and create that second chance? Now, a caveat before I jump into the tips. It's up to you to examine whether or not the dynamic you had with your ex is healthy. And oftentimes taking space, journaling, working with a therapist or coach can really help you come to the clarity needed to make the best move from where you're at. So I highly encourage that. Now that said, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna outline five ways, five steps towards reconciliation with a partner that's broken up with you. I do believe that in some cases relationships should end and I believe in many cases relationships uh, can have a second chance and it is appropriate to fight for a second chance. Sometimes your partner doesn't know how to communicate with you and one of the most sobering and direct ways to actually communicate a message to, if, especially if you have not been listening, is to break up with you. It's to play the ultimate trump card which is I'm taking all of my toys and I'm going home. And if that doesn't get you to wake up and start listening and start looking at yourself, I don't know what does. A breakup is one of the most emotionally devastating things that anybody can go through. So the larger context around getting an ex back, in my view, is that the relationship breakup is an opportunity for your own transformation. It is a really powerful mirror that you can begin to gaze into and start to upgrade parts of the way that you relate to people and remove the BS strategies that may have led to the breakup in the first place. So that said, the first step in reconciling and with your ex and creating the second chance is to not go too much too soon. What I mean is this, when your partner breaks up with you, they are wanting space. They are making a declaration that they need perspective, that they need to walk away and collect themselves and truly experience what it's like to no longer have you in their life. Many times people break up with their partners because they are looking for clarity. Sometimes they're breaking up with them because they want nothing to do with them anymore, at least in the moment. And it is very important that you honor that decision and back away from them and deal with your emotions without them helping you. And what that means is maybe you're working with a therapist, maybe you've got friends as a support group, you're working with a coach, but you are working on the feelings of loss uh, without their help and without using them to stop the bleeding or reassure you that everything's gonna be okay. And the reason why this is so important, the reason why taking space and honoring their decision is so important is because most likely during your relationship, trust and respect were compromised meaning that they perhaps didn't trust you anymore or they didn't respect you enough to want to stay in the relationship or see a future with you. And one of the first steps to rebuilding any type of second chance is to reestablish the trust and respect. And by you being able to honor their decision and respect it and walk away, and not contact them and take some space and get some perspective, you communicate, one, that you trust yourself, that you trust the decision, and two, that you respect the decision. Now, the second tip is to avoid blaming yourself and avoid punishing yourself over this breakup. Look, you may have done some things that didn't work. You may have been selfish. You may have taken the person for granted. Uh, you may have been ignorant to their feelings. And look, it's not your fault. This is the kind of stuff that happens in relationships. And sometimes it takes several go arounds before we get it right. If you didn't have the best model uh, growing up from your mom and your dad, or even if you did, sometimes relationships take a few tries before you really get them right. So I encourage you to go easy on yourself and realize that you've made some mistakes. Maybe they've made some mistakes as well, and it's okay. Because see, when you stop blaming yourself and you stop punishing yourself, it actually allows you to move forward. It allows you to change. But when you are beating yourself up and you're punishing yourself for the things that you did, it's like this weight that is on your shoulders stopping you from being able to move forward. It's your responsibility to be able to see the mistakes that you made and take responsibility for them in yourself in a way where you 
are not adding more weight and blame and self-hate on top of this mix. But you're able to say, all right, you know what? I did these things, they didn't work, and now there's some education that perhaps I need to get, and I'm going to come back with a new me, I'm gonna come back with a new strategy, with a new awareness, and I'm gonna be able to create something different. And blaming yourself and punishing yourself does not help in that process. Now the next tip I have for you is to stay single and stay in integrity with yourself. Meaning, don't go find somebody So you can then post on Facebook how you went on some amazing date with a different guy or a different woman just so you can make your ex jealous. Because if you are playing games and you're using other people, it will come back to bite you in the ass. Because see, you're not operating from your best self. You're operating from a part of you that wants to make the other person jealous or wants to hurt them and wants to instill fear of them. So they fear that you might leave and then they come back. And then the primary motivation for them coming back is not necessarily because they think things will be different, but it's because they're afraid of losing you. And what will end up happening is once they've got you and they're no longer afraid of losing you, all of those reasons around why it didn't work will come rushing back into the forefront and they'll break up with you again. So no throwing rebounds in people's faces, stay single, get some perspective. Adding anybody else to this equation on your side is just going to confuse you. It's not gonna allow you to get the perspective that you need to truly do the work necessary to start over and create a second chance. And the fourth tip I have for you on getting back together with an ex, you've gotta take responsibility for the breakup in a way that truly touches your partner. What I mean is it's not enough to say I'm sorry. It's not enough to say you're right and I agree with the breakup, but rather you're gonna have to dig. You're gonna have to get down to the core dynamic that led to this breakup and you are gonna have to see your contribution of how it was created and why it was created and it's gonna require a level of vulnerability, a level of transparency and honesty on your part that is truly gonna pave the way for them to see you in a new light. It's almost as if you are coming back to the table with an understanding of the dynamic so clearly that they are meeting a version of you that perhaps they have not seen in years. And that is how they can begin to see a second chance. You've gotta take responsibility for the breakup that gets to the core issue and communicates it to them in a way that you almost articulate it better than they could. So you are bringing clarity to the problem uh, that they in in a way that perhaps they haven't seen yet that provides a full 360 degree view of what wasn't working and then the two of you can start rolling up your sleeves and building something new from there and the fifth and final step i have for you which is something that i mentioned in step one which is to get outside help whether it's a life coach or a relationship coach somebody to help you see the things that you are too close to to help point out the obstacles that are in your blind spot that are stopping you from making progress. It's invaluable and will exponentially help you move forward. It can be very easy to get stuck in a situation where you are on the path to reconciling with your ex or reconciling with your lover and moving forward in the right direction and then to mess it up because you don't know what happens next or you react to something because you get in your own way, you get emotional and you say something you regret and you make a poor decision. And I don't want that to happen to you. So one of the things that I've done is I've created uh, two different links, okay? Two different guides. So one for you if you're a man and one for you if you are a woman. Because truly the path to reconciliation is different depending on whether you are a man or whether you are a woman. So below this video in this description is a link for men and a link for women. For men, it's going to be a guide called the five no BS truths to saving your relationship. And for women, it's gonna be a guide on the three reasons men leave women. Once you enter your email and get those guides, I've also got a series of videos that I'm gonna be giving away to you for free as well. So if this is something that you are interested in, if you are interested in creating a second chance with your ex and you are looking for more perspective and more help, go ahead and click on those links right below this video and I will see you on the other side. Good luck.